Greetings and thank you for joining us today. You're listening to the R. Kelly Appeal TV podcast, where we discuss the topics of Robert Sylvester Kelly, the case, where it's headed, where it's going, and where it's been. This is the Get In Tune in June series. So I thank everyone for being a part of this series. It's something new. So while we're awaiting new relevant information to the R. Kelly Appeal case, we are going to look at life situations that Robert could have encountered. Now, we weren't with him every step of the way in the last 30 years of his career. So I have a few pieces of information that I want to share with you. One will be a funny little skit that I want you to view with me. And then we're going to talk about something serious emotionally. And then we're going to discuss the definition of of love. That's the topic today and which there are many different definitions, but in particularly, we're talking about the love between a man and a woman. And we know that Robert Sylvester Kelly had many different relationships and, um, but we're going to go into the Q and a, um, at the end to get your perspectives of what you feel. So we're going to leave some space open in live chat to discuss. So, Everyone remembers the infidelities that were discussed in the Trapped in the Closet series that Robert Sylvester Kelly R. Kelly had made. So these scenarios um, are real in many instances. I mean, the infidelity, the cheating, the lying, the scandals, the, you know, backbiting, the, all of that. Um... So let's just listen to this scenario right now that I believe that he could definitely experience it. There is a scenario that I do not believe was yet discussed in the series that I found on YouTube by a pretty famous comedian by the name of Country Wayne. So if you've heard of Country Wayne, (laughs) then you know. Oh, God, I wish him and Robert Sylvester Kelly had it hooked up on a on a series of. uh, trapped in the closet that would have been a great great thing but for now we're going to listen to the skit it's a couple minute long skit so here we go Trash in a candy dish? Huh? Oh, you can get some candy too. We got Kit Kats, Milk Duds. Oh, 
brother, brother, I don't want no candy. I can buy me some candy if I want because I work. I work, brother. Come on, man. Come on, come on. For now, for real, man. Talk to this, bro. I'm hey, hey, excuse me. Let, 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 let us talk. Hey, hey, listen here. Hey, man. Hey, man. Come on, come on. Jibo, Jabo, Jabo, Jabo. Listen here, brother. Uh, I, now I already let you come in my baby mama house and I pay the rent, but you can't be laying on the sofa during the day. This girl need extra money, brother. You got to do the extra now. Come on, I'm doing enough. Yeah. Hey, hey y'all, you got it, bro. You got it. What is he? But damn, he don't get what I'm saying. Man, nah, y'all mean no Hey, this my last time give me money. I'm tired. This my last time you give you extra money. I take care. I take care of my kids. I'm not finna sit up here and take care of no man with no fat ever hat on. Who sleep with a hat? Come on, man. I sleep with a hat on. Oh man, I ain't know this man want to fight. That's what he want to do. He want to get. He want to end my career. He want me to. He want me to slay. That's not true. Why you? Why you? Why you? Come on, man. He have a whole profile. He got a whole. I ain't never seen nobody sleep that good. He, he, bro, you want to do a sleeper commercials? Huh? I got some work for you. Listen, as soon as we get the Wi-Fi, nah, I ain't sooner than that. This your last. This your last Quit. time getting extra money for me. I'm not gonna pay for no grown man sleep on no goddamn sofa. Wait, I, and I meant it. I'm, why is it always a Why is it always a problem? Why you open your eyes? For real. Snatch the lashes off and open them. You got a grown man sleeping on the sofa tomorrow. You need some Wi-Fi. Why? Why? If he why won't he find a job? That's what the Wi that's God trying to speak through the Wi-Fi. Why won't he find one? Hey, y'all keep it down. Oh my goodness, brother, you brother. Y'all both just are you trying to tell me? Okay. They, 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 the spirit of Satan don't send his spirit to try to get, he want me to touch so he can sue me. He want to sue me. I can't take it, man. Look how high she want to sue me. I don't get to sleep like that, man. I'm not going to sue you. I promise you, once, as soon as I get to sleep. for real, bro. I'm disappointed in you for I real. I don't know. I don't know. I just did his resume. I just did a great resume. Yeah, you know what? I ain't getting no goddamn resume. He's sitting up. Why ain't he not trying? Man, that man got all the plans on the nice sofa. I'm trying to surprise you and the kids. All right, hey, well, all right, Jibo Jabo. Congratulations. Congratulations for living rent free. Huh? Yeah. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, 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 I ain't sorry, man. I'm, I'm disappointed in you. Thank you. No more money. I, no more money for no extra money from me. I don't care about that. But, 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 but nothing. I don't care about that. 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 What are your thoughts? Now, with all the enemies surrounding R. Kelly, he was straight blessed by the highest for not having been physically harmed by these enemies. When he's doing the best that he could do in order to pay things and take care of people. And if all these allegations and charges were true, how does one man have that much power to control thousands of individuals from hurting him? If he says no, you know, so, so love, love between a man and a woman is a combination of attraction and closeness. The person we feel attracted or close to is the person we are usually in love with. Such a person can be a friend, a parent, a sibling, or even a pet. Such love is based on a feeling of attraction or affection. So in that instance, you have Country Wayne now with baby mama, baby mama drama because she wants to let Jabo sit on the couch that, you know, is going to obviously bring trauma into the life of the father who has to pay the child support. And he she he's working hard while the man in which she's with is literally doing nothing. I really can see Robert Sylvester Kelly in this case, in this scenario, because of the fact that he took care of so many people, you know, I mean, always needing money, always needing something, Prada bags, you know, houses, apartments, uh, uh, you figure um, payments every week, you know, a pay stub, a check. Well, what are your thoughts on that? Now, let's talk about trauma induced love. This is when two people are committed through trauma, stress and emotional and psychological experiences. Anxiety, sleep disorders, addiction and bonds are created under this type of relationship. 
it's it's created from some form of chaos okay what do you think about that type of love definition love trauma because i tell you love trauma can can really torture a person day to day why because they feel they owe the person for being there for them they feel that you know um this person they can't live without this person they feel that you know oh this person has been there for me and without him or her i wouldn't be much of anything and one story i came across depicts this love trauma scenario so this is a trigger so for anyone who um has been in a dom domestic violence situation i do ask that now you either pause leave or skip over uh mute or turn down the volume for about two minutes because i'm going to share a story that i feel is very pertinent to the trauma love bond between a man and a woman so one story i came across a man and a woman were together the father already had a daughter Years later, the couple then had two more children of their own, making the first child the stepchild, stepdaughter. Then the father's child began to become a burden in the relationship and then a problem within the relationship too. She became unruly, started running away, telling the school that she was being abused and it was later found that the father's daughter truly was being abused. All the father chose to do was come home in between jobs, check on the house, see how everybody was doing, go to his next job. He had no true emotional commitment there. I think it was just a traumatic bond that brought them together and he wasn't fully in the relationship emotionally. Or he was too emotional in the relationship. So she became unruly, the daughter, and it was later found that the father's daughter was being abused and all the father chose to do was come home in between jobs i think the story stated that he lived at work that was the quote in the in the article but he came home in between jobs to find his daughter at this one instance in the bathtub having a seizure that was uh, devastating so he wanted to call the police but the trauma bond between the couple um, obviously created a story that only two emotional people who had no control over their emotions could have come up with. So the wife chose to tell him not to call the police because she was on probation and they would think that she was responsible for the seizure. Now, the only way that that would happen is if she was physically and truly responsible for the seizure. So he agreed to not call the police, allowed the girl to just go through the seizure and then went back to work. He later got a call from his wife saying that the daughter had passed away. Then they took another creative idea, another brilliant, creative, stupid idea. And now that the body's laying in the house, you know, from shock, from, you know, being unable to breathe, you know, now all of a sudden they have to do something with the body. So they decided to come up with the concept of cre cremating the body in a garbage can. So it didn't work. So they drove miles away and they were in the back of some alley and they put the garbage can in there and they tried to cre start the process. And before you know it, it didn't work. So they had to wait until the garbage can cooled down, put the garbage can back in the truck and then brought it back to their home. And finally, the, the husband decides to call the police. They immediately arrest the father and he is now serving life in prison without the possibility of parole. He did escape the death penalty. The wife at the time, I viewed the comment, the document was five years out on bond at the time. She chose to represent herself in court and did not cross-examine any of the witnesses. She basically railroaded herself. She was found guilty. Now she's up for appeal. You see how trauma bonded emotions can devastate an ordinary person. 
just a regular everyday, you know, work oriented man who meets a woman who has no understanding of how to handle herself in a traumatic episode. That was an episode of a traumatic love bond experience. And it went that deep. It went that deep. So, 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 so. (laughs) These are some serious issues here. Alternative recovery solutions to these type of problems in our emotional state. Um, We can bring hundreds of different scenarios in this scenario. Um, relating to baby mama drama, daddy, daddy drama, um, relationship issue drama, emotional uh, bonds, and just everyday relationships and things that go could go completely wrong at any given moment. So we're going to do a Q&A regarding today's segment, and I have three questions for you. Now, mind you, you don't have to share if you don't want to. Please get a notebook, though, and work on these um, these areas of emotion if you are working on healing yourself emotionally. Now, this is for those who are really going through traumatic experiences, how to work with yourself to heal um, without being aggressive or um, passive aggressive. So the questions that I have today, and I'm going to leave some time in the chat for you to jot them down. And I want you to give some advice to individuals who may, you know, be going through this. This includes yourself. You know, if you are, if you find yourself in any of these circumstances, Number one, what advice would you give a person who is in a trauma bonded relationship? Number two, what would you tell Robert about Country Wayne's situation and handling child support, relationships with baby mamas, and the issues that come financially with being the breadwinner that has to pay child support and also support a child on a day-to-day basis. So these are serious issues. Number two, especially, what would you tell Robert about Country Wayne's situation and handling child support and relationship issues with baby mama drama? And finally, what are your views on the husband and wife scenario that we discussed um, within the segment? Do you think it was fair that the husband gets life and the wife will probably escape the charges due to her obvious mental illness? So I'm going to leave the the Q&A up. Please continue to um, respond. I will leave the chat open for 10 to 15 minutes for us to share our thoughts because we never know who's going to come across this video who may need this type of information in order to handle a situation they're going through. So that's the reason why I'm doing Get In Tune in June 2022 for situations that could have evolved in the, in the Robert Sylvester Kelly case with all the lies and all the different things that could have happened. Other things could have happened too. So I'm just trying to see how we can truly embrace ourselves during a time of emotional trauma. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this podcast. And if you know someone that this video can help, please share that with them. You could do it individually or you could do it on group uh, Facebook pages or wherever um, because this information needs to come out. Thank you so much. And as always, keep it 100 and we'll see you next time.